this may be the last place you'd think of as a source of revolutionary ideas. But a trio of projects at Saskatoon's landfill, designed to generate electricity in an environmentally friendly way, may change the way the city is powered in the future. It's important to reduce our greenhouse gas emissions because scientists believe that greenhouse gas emissions from the combustion of fossil fuels are contributing to global warming and climate change. On a per capita basis, Saskatchewan residents have among the highest greenhouse gas emissions, not only in Canada, but in the world. Uh, over 22% of our greenhouse gas emissions are resulting from the production of electricity, and a majority of our power is produced from fossil fuels such as uh, coal and natural gas. Many of SAS Power's power plants were built uh, 30 to 50 years ago, and it will be necessary to rebuild refurbish or replace much of their current generation. As one of their uh, largest customers, we can do our part by reducing our demand and developing some of our own green power sources. The Green Energy Park has uh, potential to uh, provide power for up to 5,500 homes and will lower our greenhouse gas emissions by over 117,000 tons a year. And that's equivalent to removing about 21,000 vehicles from our roadways. The tall wind turbine is the most visible project of, uh, that we're doing at the Green Energy Park and it will stand 120 meters from the ground to the tip of the turning blades. And that's almost 400 feet tall. Uh, the wind turbine has uh, three rotating blades that are attached to a generator at the top of the tower and the uh, wind turbine captures energy from the wind and spins a generator to produce electricity. The city is also planning to capture the gas that is created naturally at all landfills as organic material decomposes. If not captured, this landfill gas simply escapes into the atmosphere every day. There are over 500 other landfills in North America that are already capturing their landfill gas. And landfill gas is made up of high concentrations of methane. Methane as a greenhouse gas is over 20 times more harmful in our atmosphere than carbon dioxide. So by capturing this landfill gas uh, and burning it, we're actually converting the methane into carbon dioxide and achieving significant reductions in our greenhouse gas emissions. To collect our landfill gas, what we'll be doing is capping the landfill with a clay cover and then drilling uh, approximately 30 vertical wells down into the waste. And then we connect all of these wells with underground piping and induce a vacuum and literally suck the gas off the landfill as it's being produced throughout, throughout its life. The Turbo Expander is a unique project that we're doing with Sask Energy and it works in conjunction with the landfill gas project. Basically, a Turbo Expander is a small turbine that will reduce high pressure natural gas to a lower pressure for distribution to homes and businesses in Saskatoon. Uh, by doing this, the Turbo Expander creates energy um, which can be captured again and used to, to, turn a, to spin a turbine and produce electricity. The catch is the, the pressure reduction process uh, requires uh, heat in order to keep the gas from freezing and that's where the heat byproduct from the landfill gas engines will come in. So similar to the wind turbine, the turbo expander will produce power with zero emissions by capturing, wind, uh, by capturing energy that would otherwise go unused. So the landfill gas uh, collection project and turbo expander are expected to be operational by the fall of next year and construction will begin this summer on our collection system. The, the, wind, the tall wind turbine, if approved by City Council, could be operational by the beginning of 2013. All three of these projects have lifespans in excess of 20 years and over that time we will avoid emitting uh, over 2 million tons of greenhouse gas emissions into our atmosphere. Potential future projects uh, at the Green Energy Park could include fuel cells, uh, additional heat recovery, and solar power, as well as a small-scale hydropower station on the Weir in Saskatoon. Saskatoon will be home to a world-class showcase uh, of what can be done with green energy projects. Perhaps the best way to explain why these projects are important to Saskatoon is by asking a simple question, and that is, what do we want to tell our grandchildren in the future about the state of the planet that we have left for them?